How's it going everybody? Cowboy here. Today we got five quick tips with the Wither Horde. Let's not waste any time and get right into it. Starting things out with number one, we have choke blocking. If you don't want to fight somebody and you want to push them under your terms, what you can do is actually shoot a Wither Horde in a doorway and force them to either disengage or fight under your terms. This can be quite useful and allow you to really control the movement of a gunfight. Moving on to number two, we have the inverse aggressive version of number one, this being engagement baiting. If you're getting pushed by a very aggressive target, such as a shotgun or an SMG player, you can simply lay a wither horde at your feet as you turn a corner. They won't see it coming, they will run into your wither horde and most likely lose that gunfight, as the wither horde does a ton of damage over time. Moving on to number three, we have the correct bubble shutdown. It's very simple, simply slide in, stick the target, and throw a grenade to do that little bit of extra damage, any grenade works, and to stop their movement. I will say this has a high success rate but a high mortality rate as well. By doing this you will probably die, but the person inside the bubble as long as you stick them will also die, including anybody in the bubble with them. It's important to note as well as you can see in the next clip, if you shoot the ground, which is a very common mistake, you will always lose that fight as they can go in and out of the bubble to get their health back. Moving on to number 4, we have the best weapon pairings, this is pretty cut and dry, it's going to be high handling SMGs and hand cannons, as well as ones with pretty decent range, as they do best at cleaning up those close range targets, and make up for Wither Hordes lack thereof. Moving on to number 5, we have the exotic pairings, aka the cool stuff, with Warlock it's going to be a rain of fire, this allows you to dodge and essentially negate the reload on Wither Horde, allowing you to control a very large area, as well as shut down supers quite well, especially bubbles, with the Titan Melee Armentarium, which is going to give you an extra grenade, which doesn't sound like much at first, but this is kind of a tip in and of itself, as both Dust Fields and Vortex Grenades allow you to keep targets suspended in that damage AoE, and shut down targets quite easily, especially good in group fights, and now my favorite, which is the Hunter Kefri Sting, throwing down a bonus damage smoke bomb, which will sit there, pairing very well with Aspis and Frag to help you go invisible, and if they run into that bomb, they are going to take a ton of damage and die every time. 